taxation committee direct tax institute of cost accountants of india respected niranjan mishra sir uh, chairman indirect tax respected dr v modali our honorable central council member respected papa rao sir respected devashish mitra my colleague in the central council chitranjan chattopadhyay honorable speaker anil sharma honorable speaker woman parki vishwanath bhat our my colleague in the regional council nishan singh shivaprasad padhi former chairman uh, eirc former chairman of sirc a uh, chairman sirc ladies and gentlemen it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you today learning is a continuous process learning learning is a continuous process knowledge is power uh, the basic objective of such programs is dissemination of knowledge i appreciate the endeavor taken by bhubaneswar chapter bhubaneswar chapter is one of the best chapters of the eastern region i had an opportunity to visit the bhubaneswar chapter i got mesmerized it was so nice so i donated rupees 10000 for purchase of books of bhubaneswar chapter so i must say that bhubaneswar is one of the best chapter which is doing extremely good i also appreciate the endeavor of the taxation committee under the able leadership of niranjan mishra and rakesh bhalla sir and today yes we are passing we are passing through a difficult we are passing through a volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous world the world is very complex so the uh, need of the hour is that we need to update ourselves it is true that change is the essence of human civilization so change is necessary we need to be ahead of the change the latest mod we, we are to be acquainted with modern techniques like artificial intelligence blockchain cyber security data analytics these are the modern techniques which a cost and management accountant should learn just a engineer should know so also a cost accountant should learn shelly's poetic lines if winter comes can spring be far behind encapsulates the present situation of the indian economy a measured yet a relative sense of optimism prevails amidst emerging economies that the nation is progressing towards its rightful destiny of a bright to brighter economic future the catalyzing forces that fuel such hope for an inclusive growth is through a dynamic legal environment increased technological cap capabilities and a robust capital market soul of india lives in vill villages so said mohatma gandhi the finance minister not only quoted this but also corroborated it by announcing a slew of related schemes this time the budget acquired a new dimension with added focus on ease of living by ensuring last mile of delivery in addition to ease of doing business and ease of compliance through simplification of taxation procedures mazood desh ke liye mazood nagri strong citizen for a strong country the finance minister proclaimed the government's key objective by guiding principles of reform perform transform and minimum government and maximum governance